So the, uh, <coughs> the uh, we're holding track in the door and uh, we, the title today is called the commendable Nazir, the commendable Nazarite. We learned in a Bible, Rabbi Shimon Atzadik. Rabbi Shimon Atzadik said, "All my life, I never have eaten from a guilt offering. Korban Hashem, I never touched guilt offering." And uh, he was a coin coin godel that was bought uh, by Nazir, who had uh, defiled himself. He had to he defiled himself, he has to bring a Koba Nozer. Except in one uh, instance that he ate Koba Nozer. Once a Nozer came from the south and I saw that he had beautiful eyes, a handsome appearance, and his thick locks of hair were arranged in jet black ring, uh, ringles or ringlets. ringlets. I said to him, my son, what made you commit yourself to destroy your beautiful hair? Now you're coming to remove, the, to remove your hair. Because at the end of the term of his vow, a Nazir has to shave off his hair. So why did you uh, end your vow? You should have continued it. Such a beautiful hair. The Nazir replied, back home I was a shepherd for my father. Once when I went to draw water from a well, I gazed at my reflection in the water. They didn't have mirrors, but he looked at the water. He saw his face, like Avram Avinu saw a Sarah. Only then he knew that she was beautiful. At that moment, my evil impulse seized me and tried to drive me from, tried to drive me from the world, destroy my place in the world to come through the sin of pride. He started feeling good about himself. But I said to, I said to my lost evil creature, why do you boastfully intrude into a world that is not yours? You are proud of something that is destined to become dust. Worms and, mo and, and maggots. I swear that I will become a nozil so that I will be forced to shave off this beautiful hair. For the sake of heaven. Rabbi Shimon Atzadik immediately got up and kissed his head saying, my son, may there be many Nazirim, Nazarites, like you in Israel. The Torah has you in mind when it says, when a man or a woman expresses a Nazarite vow to God, number 6-2, you have the right motive for becoming a Nazir, namely to subdue your Yetzir Hara, your evil inclination. Rabbi Mani objected. We were told above that it was Shimon HaTzadik's custom not to eat from the guilt offering of a Nazir who had become unclean. In what respect is a guilt offering of an unclean Nazir different that he did not eat from it? It is because it comes as a result of his sin. Then he should not have eaten from any guilt offering since they are all brought because of a sin. Then why was he more reluctant to eat from a guilt offering of an unclean nozir than from any other guilt offering? Rabbi Yonah answered, this is, a, this is the reason when people, re, uh, when people regret their the bad deeds, they become Nazarites, intending to be extremely self-disciplined uh, for 30 days. But when during the term of Nazirus they become unclean, through accidental uh, contact with the dead and have to start counting another 30 days of Nazirus, they regret their commitment. Now they're stuck with it for another 30 days. And since their intent is not sincere, it is as though they brought Chulin, a profane sacrifice, to the temple court. But Rabbi Shimon Tzadik was sure that this particular young man did not regret his vow of Nazirus and therefore he, he ate from his guilt offering.